Let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over Pattern Chat episode 23. It's only been several weeks late, but it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We have a ton to cover today and I'm so excited. Um, I'm probably not going to go into too much detail other than showing off the bags just because it's been quite some time. So sorry for that. Uh, this is Classy Designs by Dawn. This is the Cowrie crossbody bag pattern. It's a very simple crossbody, um, some pockets, the top zipper, and a nice bottom that holds a lot. Uh, that page cannot be found. Okay. I guess it doesn't exist. Uh, this next one is from KMG Handmade. This is the Slim Sleeve Operation Collaboration Part 1 with K Dill. Very cool. So I believe... Oh, okay, cool. It's like a little travel case. That's really fun. Um, it's part of Operation Collaboration. We started out with Collaboration of the Compass Crossbody Bag. Give you these two patterns that go together like peanut butter and chocolate. Create your slim sleeve and use those finished dimensions to create a perfect fitting peripheral pal. This listing is for the slim sleeve. This pattern is to help you create a custom fit carrying sleeve for any electronic device you wish. Which is so cool. So this goes within uh, one of K Dill's patterns, which I wonder if we have the link. For oh, we do have the link for it. Okay, great. Peripheral bell. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And this is a companion to the slim, slim sleeve. So they work together to create these. I feel like I remember this. It's been a while. Uh, this is really cool. It's like a, it could be used for sewing travel really cool suitable for a domestic machine and is beginner friendly you see there you've got your little sewing project you can take with you and then you have your ipad so if you're going sewing somewhere you can bring it all with you so cute all right this next one is the mini game handbag from another castle diy uh this is so cute it's a trendy mini handbag uh, triangle details and darts give this bag a clean, classy silhouette. Yeah, I would say that's accurate. It's so cute. So there's three different closure options, a really fun piecing of those panels, and it's just like a really cute, classy size. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cute. And that is from another Castle DIY. As always, the links are down below in order of as I'm mentioning them, so you can click the more section of YouTube and then you'll see all those links. This is an, this is the J Marie PDF pattern. It's an intermediate bag sewing pattern, modern slouch bag. And this is from Kite Co. It looks like, yeah, Kite Co. Creates. How fun is this? I love those angle, like angled cargo pockets and the top is a really fun shape. I love that like large placard. That's fun. This is a really interesting design. Like it's not one that I would necessarily go for myself, but I could see this being a very popular and super fun bag. Like look at all the different ways it's being created. I love the side accents too. That's so fun. All right, this is the Imagination Book Wallet Pattern by Sew Gypsy. This is really cool. If you guys have seen the um, the trunk bag, uh, I'm trying to remember who makes it. I know Shanova does a tutorial for it and she makes a new one every year, but this looks like a really good companion to that pattern. I think it's by a, something that starts with a C. This is the Tiny Quilted Beast from Aura Rosa. We have a few new Aura Rosa, I believe, in that time. Uh, this is a super cute little bowler bag. I did not get a chance to test or make this, but I wish I had. I, I always can make it. Just because it's not new doesn't mean you can't make it. Oh, those are really cool little purse feet. 
piece of vinyl. So cute. All right, this is from Chaos Kona Designs. This is the Pack Pouch Wristlet Sewing Pattern. It's a really cute little circle pouch. You can make it look like Pac-Man or you could just kind of have fun with the design. There's a hidden zipper, optional applique wristlet strap. So if you're looking to have fun with patterns and kind of learn more about how you can be creative with them, I definitely recommend the KS Kona designs. They're so fun and creative. I feel like her personality shines in these patterns. Uh, this is from Hills Handmade. This is the Buena Vista backpack PDF pattern. This is so cute. Those connectors are super fun. I love that quilting on the front panel. Let's look at more nice inside pockets. So it comes with a PDF, the SVGs, and then an SVG guide. Love those side pockets. I think that front pocket being angled is really cute and fun too. And then it copies that on the back. If you're not good at sewing straight, those panels with the angles are actually really, um, they're going to be your friend because, I mean, it's supposed to look angled, so you did it. You nailed it. That looks cute. Uh, this is the mini bifold wallet. I think we talked about this. I'm just going to mention that it exists again. Uh, she does have a new pattern, but I feel like we talked about this one. Yeah. Oh, maybe we didn't. Uh, the clamshell sling bag and waist pack. This is... So cute. Made by Elizabeth. I called her Emily in a video and I'm so sorry. Elizabeth. It's because it's easy M. And I was like, M, my sister's name. Anyway, this is so cute. I really like the shape of this one and it looks like it would be a lot of fun to make. And I love that little coin bag clipped on too. But I, I loved watching um, Elizabeth make it and how the front panel comes together is really cool. Okay, this is Minikins season four. It's a 12 pattern and video bundle for $88 um, from So Sweetness. Looks like there's a bunch of super cute pouches. Oh, I love that. I love the idea of being able to make one of those. Um, I have not, I've never purchased the Minikins pouches, but I know people absolutely love them. Those are cute little carrying cases, a little organizer. I think it'd be so fun to like one day buy the set and then just like challenge myself to make it all in like a collection of fabrics. Oh my God, I love that book holder. Like, that's so fun. Looks like there's a water bottle holder with a fun like cargo pocket. Oh great, here's everything in one picture. There's the blue stem pouch, Hildegard's notion trunk, the love grass sewing machine cover, nut hatch organizer, the Calibi jewelry organizer, the oleander yoga bag, the mist flower water bottle tote, the goldenrod book cover, the Catalan storage cube, the enigma pouch, the partridge bag, and then the sprinkles baking tote. So cute. I love those. All right, this is from Mortal Dread Designs. This is the Reaper bag. It's so spooky and cute. I love it. So it looks like there's a fun piping design and then an applique. And then the inside just has a zippered closure. It does look like it's finished off with binding. Let's move on to the next. This is bags by bags of style this is the double trouble collection looks like it's a double-sided zipper pouch i think what you got what, what am i looking at um oh okay so it's inside it's two compartments and then there's one zipper on top so that's really cool well three compartments but two compartments sewn together and then you've got your zipper closure that's pretty cool so it's a wristlet and a crossbody uh this is from so bliss bags this is the trifold tall wallet can i see it 
Uh, it is not showing it to me because I am stupid. But that exists. Oh, here it is. Great. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? Uh, this is from So Bliss Bags, the tall trifold wallet. So it looks like it's a snap closure pockets for cards, card slots, slip pocket, all kinds of good stuff in there. I feel like I've mentioned this one before, but maybe not. Ugh. This one is from Amazing Patterns. This is the Himalaya crossbody bag and handbag. Love the shape of this so much. That's so cute. I love the piecing on the front panel. You can view more pictures of the two, but this is a set of bags in one pattern. This is from Inaliti Designs. This is the moon bag. It comes in two sizes. So it's a little hip sling bag. So good. So it's got zipper pocket inside. Um, a little compartment on the outside and lots of ways to make this a really cool bag. It's so cute. I love that. All right. Then we have the Ruthie bag pattern from CJ Creative World. Oh, I love that little bow accent on the side. It's a very classic handbag upscale shape. It's really satisfying. I wonder if there's any inside photos. Hmm. They're all so beautiful. Here we go. So you've got a top zipper closure. Is that all it's going to show me? I guess so. Um, I assume there's pockets inside. Okay, this is the Jovi backpack from Kaya Papaya Designs. Um, she also released a new one I will talk about later, but this is a really cute backpack, very upscale. I love that front magnetic slip pocket. Super cute. This is the Hinterland handbag PDF pattern with videos. Currently there's a sale because she has a new release pattern out. Um, but normally the price is $13 and it does come with videos. These are very detailed patterns. I have not gotten to make a lavender and twine yet because the amount of pages is overwhelming to me, but I really feel like it would be a good, like have a friend over and you both make the same bag and you just work through it slowly and step by step. And then you're like, Oh, I did it. Great. I can do it. No problem. Um, but I love this. Um, my friend Jade, has one made out of the most beautiful green vinyl and I want it. I'm gonna steal it from her. But this is actually like a really cute mid-size bag. It's not too big but it would hold a lot and these patterns are domestic friendly so if you have an, a domestic machine you can make lavender and twine bags. She has made sure of it. This is the Aloha crossbody bag from Sewing Seeds of Love Studio. It's so cute. Like I love the handles being inset like that and the closure on the top. It's just so cute. Yeah, it's adorable. I definitely feel like the rifle paper fabric makes it even more beautiful, but yeah, this is a really cute bag. It seems fairly beginner friendly. Again, if you take it slow, let's see what it says though. I don't know that it really says. You can see there, there's the larger size, so it's pretty big, but it looks like a fun sew. All right, this is from Sewing Art Z. Oh, Sewing Arts. Uh, this is the Anya bag. Wow. Does anybody else think of Anastasia? Anastasia. Anastasia. 
Ooh, that's a fun bag. I love that flap. You can see that stitch line across the top to keep its shape. And that wide gusset. All right, let's look at the look book. I don't know if this one comes in English, but it might be good enough with the pictures to be able to figure it out, honestly. But it also might come in English. Oh. All right, there we go. This is from Shambhala Designs. This is the Gaviota. Gaviota? Yeah. VIP bag. This is a really simple but elegant shape. I love that little detail of piecing together the front panel. Nice round bottom with piping. Oh, I like the back, how that comes together. Super cute. Mm, look at that bottom. April 29th, oh my gosh. It's August, don't tell anybody. All right, this is from Classy Designs by Dawn. This is the Windley Key shoulder bag. It's got a lot going on. It looks like there's a slip pocket on the front and then that double zippered compartment. I don't know if that one really holds much or if it's just for show, but it looks really cool. Yeah, that's a really fun, fun one. 12 wide. 11 tall, three deep, so it's a nice medium to large size. Uh, this is from Clutch Couture Designs. This is the Iliana. This is cute too. She's chic and sleek. She has a very simple but chic exterior, very minimal hardware, optional piping, rear zipper pocket, interior zipper pocket, and optional interior slip pocket. It's really cute, I love. I love the way that comes together. And that piping detail is really fun. Um, Clutch Couture also sells uh, handbag supplies. So definitely check out her website. This is from KR Threads. This is the Takesha crossbody bag. Um, I've been meaning to make this one. I just haven't had a chance. Um, it's literally, it's on my list. Um, but I did make the Arcea and I loved it. So this one seems very similar to me, but I think a little bit smaller, a little more compact. It's so cute. Um, I think I mentioned this one before, but I'm not sure. This is the Cork Ordian wallet from Spencer Og. Uh, but it has that gusset side. I, it's just a really cute, quick sew. It does come in two sizes. That's what I thought. Okay. This one is from AC Sew. This is the Merci multi-purpose bag. It's got a really unique zipper that goes across the top. And then that side zipper there i feel like she is always just doing super fun unique things and like she's not afraid to just try it i love it these are cute okay this is from chris w designs this is the quick no zip crossbody bag pdf pattern so as it says there's there's no zipper on the top looks like there's a zipper in no no zips slip pocket but just like a really fun cell phone crossbody style bag. It looks like a really nice bag to make with a teen or younger and be able to um, have them complete a project that they're really proud of. So I love that. Definitely can make it with stuff you have on hand too. Looks like this one added um, a magnetic closure just to kind of amplify the look of it. Oh, I love that, it's so pretty. All right, this is the 
Bayaga 3-in-1 Convertible Bag by Amazing Patterns. I love the look of this bag. That like bubble front is, I feel like, very popular right now. Um, but this can be worn as a backpack with that connector, which is giving me so many ideas. That is cool. Yeah, I love this. So it can be worn as a sling, as you see there, or it can be worn as a crossbody or a backpack. Such a cool shape. I really love that. Oh, I love it with the quilted look too. And then there's the back. You can see it's got the strap across the bottom with the D-rings for the connector. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this is the Bootstown backpack from Spencer Og. I have to say, I saw this and I was like, I love it so much. Like, it's so simple, but that's the beauty of it. Like, you can really dress it up or dress it down. I love that little slip pocket on the back. Um, looks like it's interfaced with foam or Decaville light, and it's just so cute. I love the grab handles out of webbing on the top. I love that like slip pocket look. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty obsessed with it. Oh, look at the bottom, that's so fun. And then it's hard to tell, but you can see the top. See how it's open there and there? That is so cool. Like so that it, it gives it a little more space yeah, you can see there, it's like a, a zipper panel that kind of creates itself. It's so cute. Like, I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, this is from Cherishing Today. This is the Hope Abounds PDF sewing pattern. This is really cute too. Um, this one is a pretty brand new release. This is great for using up TPU scraps that you cannot bear to get rid of because TPU can be so expensive, and then a great way to use grommets or learn how to use grommets and create a little um, binder organizer. I'm pretty sure you could change the measurements for this if you needed to as well. But otherwise it seems like a pretty straightforward and fun pattern. All right. What, is it the Narcissist? No, the, the Greedy Clutch is the newest. But this is from Hollow Bag Creations, my friend Nikki. Um, this is the Greedy Bag Clutch. And I love the use of hardware, like that little bit of a chain strap. Um, I am in the tester group. I don't get a chance to test, but I get a chance to like read how everything comes together and it can be worn as a wristlet or a crossbody. It is domestic friendly. And it looks like a really good like con bag. There's two magnetic closure op as an option or there's the wristlet there. This is the Could I Be Any Clear Stadium Bag from Sincerely Jen Pattern Co. I'm super biased, but I love this bag. Um, I do want to make one in like all leather or not all leather, but like a solid fabric. So you can see that you can use these pattern pieces to make a finished bag not clear if you wanted to. All right, this is from Deja Designs. Here's a preview of the other patterns that she has. I love the Morgan bag. Um, but this is the speedy wristlet and more sewing pattern. So there's the, the wristlet, the fanny pack, and then a crossbody size. Oh, there we go. It's a little video. You can see. So you can see the set there all together. I really love the accent on the front. 
This looks like it would be a fun one to make out of clear vinyl too. <clears throat> All right, this is the Voyager Cube. Hey, I'm in July. Great, I did it. Um, from Sophisticated Craft Designs. Oh, it's so cute. I was just caught up in those stitches. Mm. Gorgeous. Are you a frequent traveler or an exercise fanatic? Or just love to be ready and organized for any occasion? The sophisticated Voyager Cube is designed for your traveling and running needs. <laughs> My brother-in-law and niece love using their shoe bag for business exercise fun trips. Yeah, that's so cute. Look at those cuties. Oh, the bluey mermaid fabric. So it looks like you can use this to hold all kinds of things. I think it's fun how it kind of zips up on the side, but you can make it for all sizes. And I mean, truly you could put anything you wanted into it, but yeah, that is super cute. All right, this is the newest one from Aura Rosa. This is the simplistic sling PDF pattern. This one is a really fun make. You can see inside there's slip pocket card slots um, and then a slip pocket with a zipper pocket. So the inside matches the Catalina and then the shape of it is just this really um, elegant elongated oval trapezoidal shape and it comes together really beautifully and the instructions are awesome. So you can see on the back it has that wear it anyway type thing but the other pattern that I just forgot the name of, but um, you can make this one into like a cute little mini backpack with that sling option. And then you've got, yeah, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna save that one. Uh, this is the newest one from Lavender and Twine. This is the Welkin bag PDF pattern with videos. Again, this is on sale currently, but by the time this is up, it might not be on sale. Um, but this is a, incredibly sophisticated looking pattern like just the shape of it and the way those pieces tem come together is so beautiful and it's definitely like exactly what you would expect from lavender and twine there uh, look at that is that a literal mermaid bag or what like get out of here goosebumps i'm trying to show off there's the back there's like this um strap placard that looks really cool and gives a lot of structure to the top of the bag. Uh, at first I was a little bit worried about this part, but it seems like it's going to hold up pretty well um, because it's riveted on the fabric and then off the fabric. But I was worried like, man, you, you've got so much stress there, but I know that she has also tested these bags to the limit. <laughs> mm, look at those stitches. Okay, this next one is from Maggie55. This is the Pop Open Coin Pouch. It is a free pattern, but it looks like it uses um, little metal frames and it just holds your coins. It's a great little scrap buster. Um, uh, you need a hinged flex frame to make it. But it's so cute. All right, and then this is the Tiffany mini satchel pattern. I'm just going to sit back and oogle this bag. So classic. Such a cute size. Mm. Mm. Okay, next one is the mini bifold wallet. We did, no, I know we did this already. Okay. Uh, this is the OB clasp bag from Toby Style X. Get out of here. Okay, for one, she is just simply beautiful. I love following her on Instagram, but 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so fun. I love that V cut out. I, I just, mm, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, let's see what else we got. I think this next one, yes, this one is also from Toby Stylix. This is the Ruby Circular Bag. Look at that like slouchy front. I can't. It's so cute. I can't. Basic sewing skills. You should be familiar with a sewing machine and terms. Yeah, that is so classy. I can't even. All right, this next is from in Elite Designs. This is the Trinity Clutch Bag. So it looks like there's three compartments that come together to make this bag. It's really cute. It's a nice size, very classy. Uh, this is from R RLR Creations. This is the Tiffin Double Compartment Lunch Totes. There is child and adult sizes included within the pattern. And I think it's a new release, so it's on sale, but there's the bottom compartment a front pocket and then the inside that opens up. Very cool, very intricate for a lunchbox, but in a good way. Like if you're needing a very cool lunchbox, this is it. Uh, this is the So Yours, oh, the Kiki and the CC bundle. So I think they're two different sizes, um, Defender and the crossbody. I love the front design of this, like just right off the gate. Okay, so the Defender is larger and then the crossbody is smaller. Like this right here, I really love the way that looks. I think it's a, a snap closure, but yeah, it's a big slip pocket. Cool. Mm, I just can't get over it. I love this handle. I'm caught up in the stitching again. Okay, this is another one from Shambhala Designs. This is the Macadamia and the Pachira, Pachira bag. Again, classic quilting, honestly. Like it's the piecing of the front panels is so beautiful. Uh, this is from Blind Stitched Patterns. This is the post box handbag pattern. So fun. Look at all of that. I love the piping detail. Ooh, look at those purse feet. So cute. All right. This is um, the Malia shoulder bag sewing pattern. Oh no, okay. Um, the Blooming Rose is the new one. Okay. There's the Bowie Clutch and some other products as well. I will include um, the link for this Payhep shop but I'm not seeing the bag that was linked for some reason. Uh, this is the newest one from Kaya Papaya Designs. This is the large Alyssa crossbody bag. I really love this. Again another just like sleek classy handbag shape. Um, I did purchase this pattern and it also there's the um elegant tissue box cover and I honestly really want to make it but I love the way the bottom or the side panel comes together I love that front slip pocket it's on uh, one of the backpacks that I made from her so I think it's kind of like one of her staple collection pockets is that like front 
accordion style pocket that's gonna hold a lot but I love that paneled connector to up the elegance but also make it domestic friendly because you're not sewing through a ton of vinyl in your seam allowances etc so brilliant this is from I'm, I'm gonna get in my head about it but it's a sac carton sac carton probably not um, but this is the Anukis Anukis bag It's like a, a circle bag with a magnetic top closure. Very cool the way those come together and the piping details. That's really fun. You can like really pick an accent fabric. Oh, that one is so beautiful. So fun. All right, just a few more left. This is from So Sophia. This is the nine to five lunch bag. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So it's got a front flap. It can be worn as like a crossbody with adjustable strap or just a little grab handle slash shoulder strap. That snap hook closure is going to be super sturdy. And there's a sleeve for a cup or thermos. Here's where that flap comes together. Looks like it holds a lot and it just looks super cute. I love that. Uh, this is the Take a Break lunch bag from Ellie and Mac. This is like a circular oval pattern. Oh good, this is a little video, it'll tell us. Hmm. <laughs> A nice wide opening, a little zipper pocket you could put um, reusable utensils in, things like that. Little snack pockets. Aww. I want to make Dorothy a new lunchbox. Uh, and then this last one is the Alexander bag from Kara Threads. This one has a really cool front compartment. Have we talked about this one before? Or have I just seen it? Does it say when it was released? I don't know. I can say watch watch on YouTube. Well, here's someone you can subscribe to. Deb Calligan, Me Made Makes Videos. Makes. Really going in depth just to uh, figure out if this is a new bag pattern or not. Um, but it looks like she has a video um, going over the Jack H2 and the Janome HD9. I've seen people talk about the Jack machine and wondering why there isn't more information. So you can definitely check her out. I will link her down below. Um, but yeah, sorry. This pattern looks incredible. I love that front um, organizer. You can have your whole wallet there. So you just have the one bag. It looks like a pretty spacious, it's a structured medium sized bag. And there's the first option, which features an accordion pocket with a built-in wallet. And then the second option features a slip pocket, which is secured with a magnetic snap. Like that one. But I, as always, her patterns are very well written and explained, lots of detail. You will not be disappointed. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we went over a lot of patterns. I apologize. Life has been crazy and I haven't been able to do pattern chats, but you didn't come here to hear me apologize and give excuses. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all later. Happy sewing!